Hey everybody, this is Michelle Goldstein with Heart Alchemy Yoga, and today we're filming live at the Springs in downtown LA, which is the art district in downtown LA's hottest new yoga studio. And today we're going to do a 30 minute cardiovascular flow just to get your body moving and your breath flowing. Let's go ahead and get started. Come onto your mat, this is a mixed level class, so all levels could hang with this. Bring your toes together, knees apart, and set yourself up for child's pose. Close your eyes. And begin to bring some awareness to your breath. Smooth out your breath. And allow your breathing to be thorough, full, and complete. And we'll just start to move a little. So go ahead and come on up into your hands and your knees and tuck your toes under. And let's go ahead and come back to the first downward dog pose of our practice. So today we're practicing with Ben and Marina here at the Springs, two very dear yogis and amazing actors and talents in their own right. And so as you begin to breathe, one of the huge things that we're doing in this practice is connecting to our true selves, to our most authentic self, which means that when you're on your yoga mat, and ideally when you're anywhere, do it with deep respect for yourself. Which means if you need to modify a posture, take a rest, you can do. If you want to add on or try other variations of a pose, you're certainly welcome to that as well. Go ahead and shift forwards to plank pose on an inhale. And let's take the first vinyasa here, lower to chaturanga on the exhale. Flip over your toes, come to upward dog or cobra pose on the inhale. And exhale, the hips draw back, downward facing dog pose. So this is an all levels practice, but just bear in mind that you know it moves so there it we do suggest that you've done yoga before if you try this go ahead and lift your right leg up on an inhale and as you exhale softly step the right foot up to the front of your mat come up to crescent pose so we're just go ahead and move right in with an early the short practice like this. On an inhale, press your right leg straight, level your hips, bring the left hip forwards. And as you exhale, bend your right knee. And as you inhale, straighten your right leg. As you exhale, bend your right knee. And one more time, inhale, straighten your right leg. Exhale, bend your right knee. and Bring the palms together in front of your heart, please, and step your left foot up to meet your right at the front of your mat. Good. Inhale, reach your arms up to the sky, and exhale, fold forwards, fold in half. Inhale, flat back, lengthen out. Exhale, step back to plank position, and lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra or upward dog. And exhale back to downward dog pose. Good, deep breath, deep breath. So in a world that's constantly pushing and pulling every which way to get us to do one thing or buy another thing or whatever to make our lives complete, in this practice, we're dialing into what we really need in any given moment. Lift your left leg up, inhale. And exhale, step the left foot all the way through to the front of your mat and come up to crescent pose. 
Okay, and then on an inhale, press your left leg straight, square off your hips, and exhale, bend your left knee. Inhale the left leg straight, exhale, bend your left knee. And one more time, inhale, straighten your left leg. Exhale, bend your left knee. Bring the palms together in front of your heart and step the right foot up to meet the left at the front of your mat. Good, you guys. Inhale, the arms reach up. Exhale, fold forwards. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, vinyasa, step or jump back. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale back to downward facing dog pose. Deep breath through your nose. Spread your fingers wide along the ground. Flex your thighs so the quadriceps engage. And start to firm up your upper arms so the triceps hug in. Inhale, rise up on your toes. Exhale, look forwards, walk, or hop your feet up to the front of your mat. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, fold into the legs. Good, bend your knees, come to chair pose on an inhale, and fold forwards on your exhale. Lengthen out, inhale. Exhale, chaturanga, make your way back through your flow. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog pose. Good, lift your right leg up, inhale. Exhale, step the right foot all the way through to the front of your mat, spin the back heel flat, come to warrior one, inhale. And today, open up to warrior two on the exhale. Good, left hand back, right arm up, reverse warrior, inhale. And exhale, release the hands to your mat, step to plank, and lower down. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale back, downward dog. Lift your left leg, inhale. And exhale, step through. Warrior one pose, inhale. Warrior two on the exhale. Reverse your warrior, inhale. And exhale, release the hands down, step back, and lower. Inhale, upward dog. Good, exhale back, downward dog. So we're going to do that three more times on each side. Lift the right leg, inhale. This will get your heart moving. Exhale, step through. Warrior one, come up, inhale. Warrior two, exhale. Good, reverse warrior, inhale. Exhale, the hands to your mat, step back, lower down. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Lift the left leg, inhale. Exhale, step through. Warrior one, inhale. Warrior two, exhale. Reverse warrior, inhale. Exhale, release the hands down, step back, and lower. Good, inhale, heart lifting, upward dog. Exhale back, downward dog. Good, again, lift the right leg, inhale. Exhale, step through. Warrior one, inhale. Warrior two, exhale, good. Keep the right knee bent, reverse warrior, inhale. Exhale the hands to your mat, step back, lower down. Inhale up, exhale back. Lift your left leg, inhale. Exhale, step through. Warrior one, inhale. Warrior two, exhale. Reverse warrior, inhale. Exhale the hands to your mat. Step back and lower down. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. One more, lift the right leg, inhale. And exhale, step through. Inhale, come up. Exhale, open up. Good, reverse warrior, inhale. Exhale, vinyasa, hands down. Lower. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, back. Lift the left leg, inhale. 
Exhale, step through. Warrior one, come up. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, sweep up and back. Exhale, let the whole thing go. Plank without collapsing, lower chest first. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Good, deep breath. If it helps you to take a few exhales out your mouth, you can certainly do that. <sighs> Feel your heartbeat in your chest. Let's go ahead and bring the feet forwards to the front of the mat. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold in. Good. Bend your knees. Come to chair pose on an inhale. And you're going to keep your knees bent. As you exhale, sweep the arms back behind you like wings. Keep the knees bent. Inhale, back to chair. Exhale, the arms sweep back. One more time. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, sweep the arms back. Good. Come to chair pose. Arms reach up. Exhale, fold forwards. The legs straighten. Inhale, lengthen out. Exhale, vinyasa. Make your way back. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, back. Good. Step your right foot up to your hands. Spin your back heel flat. Good. Come up to warrior one pose. Nice. Now from here, we're just going to hold warrior one for a few breaths, okay? Bring the right hip back, left hip forwards. And then as you bend the right knee, press the outer left foot, the back foot down. And interlace your fingers behind your back. Bring the right hip and right shoulder back more and fold forwards into humble warrior pose. So if, you, if it helps you, you can take a strap and hold the strap between your hands behind you if it's hard for you to interlace or challenging, I should say. And just allow your body to be exactly how it is within the pose. Right? Deep breath. Allow the pose to do the work. And you just surrender to the experience. Let your neck soften. Get some space around your neck. Come up to warrior one pose. Open up to warrior two. Good, and then from here, press your right leg straight. Legs are straight. We'll reach forwards and come on in for triangle pose. Right hand either to a block or the right ankle, maybe the floor on the outer right foot. The left arm reaches up to the sky. And just be mindful because the shoulders have a tendency to scrunch up around the ears in triangle. Slide the shoulders away from the ears. And feel the right foot press down the front foot. Work all four corners of both feet down. If you can, flex your thighs so you engage the quadriceps in order to release the hamstrings. And come up to warrior two pose. And just a couple of deep breaths here. Soften the shoulders. In a, in a short flow like this, there's only so much trouble we can get into, like knowing, okay, I'm not going to be in this for very long at all. The practice isn't even very long. Just see if you can relax into it. One more breath. Sit down another inch. And release the hands to your mat. Step back to plank. Bring your feet together. Roll to the outer edge of the left foot. Reach the right arm up for side plank. So if you want to modify this pose, you're welcome to either put your left knee down or maybe you even could plant the right foot to the ground in front of you if that helps work as a kickstand. Otherwise, both legs straight, hips lift, belly in, jaw soft, one more breath, and release the right hand down. Either back to down dog or vinyasa if you want it. 
up dog inhale exhale back good step the left foot up to your hands back heel flat come up to warrior one pose right just bring the right hip forwards left hip back a little bit outer edge of the back foot press down bend the left knee interlace your fingers with the opposite grip behind your back lift the, ch the heart up and draw the right shoulder forwards right rib cage forwards fold forwards just let it be exploratory when it fe especially in the ones that feel intense if you can bring on the spirit of curiosity then it can help I think that that really helps us stay calm and inquisitive and open instead of labeling it something see if you can just check it out as if you have no clue you're just observing the experience even if you've been in this pose a million times before come up warrior one pose inhale open to warrior two on the exhale good press your left leg straight reach forwards and take the left hand down to something a block the floor perhaps your left ankle draw the left hip into center lean your shoulder blades back flex your thighs relax your face Like when you think of what yoga is, if you were to think of what somebody looked like when they were doing yoga, like see if you can embody that a little bit. Good, and then come on up to warrior two, bend your left knee. I'm assuming that when you think of yoga, you think of something peaceful. <laughs> hopefully that's the case. And hopefully with our practice, we're becoming more and more so. In fact, in my opinion, it's our responsibility as yogis to be true to ourselves, to be at peace as best we can, or at the very least have a practice of cultivating peace. It's okay, by the way, if you're not at peace. <laughs> a lot of us are struggling with that or, you know, challenged every day. It doesn't have to, in fact, peace is the opposite of a struggle. So do observe where you fight yourself and see if you can soften around the edges a little bit. Sit down one more inch. Good, and then release the hands down. Step to plank. Bring your feet together. Roll to the outer right foot reach the left arm up to the sky so you're in side plank here lift the hips up belly in and again observe where you fight yourself observe how it feels to breathe deeply and peacefully and feel how that connects you to who you really are and if this is all kind of esoteric everybody just breathe that's the most important thing one more breath here lift the hips up higher and then exhale release that left hand down vinyasa or back to downward dog push the floor away from you to get that stretch in the upper back inhale up on your toes exhale walk or softly hop your feet up to the front of your mat inhale lengthen your spine and exhale forward fold bend your knees come to chair pose on an inhale and we'll take our first twist here take a prayer twist to the right palms meet at the heart left forearm cross over the right thigh hug the inner thighs together and start to rock your weight back to your heels a little bit. Spread your toes. Good, and then come back to chair pose for just a breath, and then we'll twist to the other side. 
just a few breaths here. I was teaching a private the other day and I said, just take five more breaths here. And she, after we were done with the pose, she said, that was six breaths, Michelle. I'm like, okay, I get it. We're all going at a different pace. And that's the, that is what we're doing. We're dialing into our own frequency, whatever that means to you. Take one more inhale. And exhale to chair. Inhale, sit a little deeper. Exhale, fold forwards. Inhale, lengthen out. Exhale, vinyasa, make your way back. Up dogs the inhale, down dogs the exhale. Good, step your right foot up to your hands, come up warrior one pose, inhale. Open up to warrior two on your exhale. Good. Reverse warrior is the inhale, and now we're coming into side angle. You can take the right elbow to the right thigh, or the right fingertips down to the ground or a block. Left arm reaches up and over the left ear. Sometimes I scoot my back leg back a little bit in this pose. Once I get into it, I find that it helps me get a little deeper in a good way. You know, it's, the goal isn't to go deeper and deeper, but to get rather the stretch that feels right. So start to do a scan of your body and note where you can adjust the posture so that it fits your body perfectly. Good, and then reach the left arm up. Come on up to stand, straighten the right leg. Okay, we're gonna reach forwards for half moon pose. Step up onto the right leg. Lift the left leg up. Flex the left foot. Left arm grabs the sky. Start to spiral your chest up towards the ceiling. Spread your toes. Good, one more breath here. And then what we're gonna do is just bend the right knee, the standing leg, lower the left hand down. See if you can bend both knees and hug them into your chest, the left leg's still lifting. And then straighten that left leg back, come to standing splits. Go ahead and fold yourself forwards. Allow your neck to soften. And just one more breath here. Step the left foot straight back behind you. Come up to crescent pose for a breath. Big inhale. Exhale the hands down to your mat. Step back. Vinyasa, lower down. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale back, downward dog. Step the left foot through. Come up, warrior one. And open up to warrior two pose. Good, reverse warrior, inhale. Exhale to side angle pose. And you don't have to do the same version on both sides, just I usually do. But just to bear in mind that life doesn't fit into a neat shaped box. And your yoga practice really doesn't need to either. I mean, in fact, it's encouraged not to. It's encouraged to allow yourself to feel free, especially when you're on your mat. Because on the mat, it's pretty contained. It's just you. You know, there's no other people, there's no other objects besides just you and your yoga mat. Just allow it to be the way it should be, which is the way that it is. Come up, warrior two. Straighten the left leg. Lengthen forward, step all the way up onto the left leg. Ardha Chandrasana, half moon pose. Believe me, I sometimes get caught up on how things should be. It shouldn't be like this. I should have done this better. I should have done that. It would have been, it could have been. And all that is is a waste of, of time and space, thinking like that. It is what it is, and it's perfect. 
even if it doesn't feel particularly perfect. It, it, every single moment is both a blessing and a lesson if we choose to see it as that. Now bend your left knee a little. Lower the right hand, lower the right hip, bend the knees into your chest, right foot still up off the floor though. And then straighten the legs out, come to standing splits and fold in. You can definitely use blocks here, of course. Shoulders away from the ears. Get a little extension in the upper back. Good, and just one more breath. Okay, and step the right foot straight back behind you. Come up to crescent pose for a breath. Big inhale. Now exhale, release the hands down. Step to plank pose. And this time, lower yourself all the way to the floor. Okay, from here, we're going to bend the knees, right? We're keeping it moving. <laughs> Catch the feet with your hands. You can get a lot done in a short period of time when you just stay with it. Come on up to bow. I'm a fan of taking my time as well, but I really do like to have my yoga practice every day, and I don't always have an hour or two. So that's what these, that's what these videos are for. They're for you, as, a, as one of my students said, it's no excuses yoga. There's something for everybody. One more breath, lift up, exhale, lower down. You can make a pillow with your hands, rest your forehead down. Okay, one more. Bend the knees, catch the feet. If you're at home and you'd rather do a wheel, you're welcome to flip onto your back for that. Come on up. Chest lifts. Shoulder blades come together. Maybe you lift the corners of your mouth. Anyone? One more breath. Lift up. And then go ahead and release down. Rest. Take your hands, palms down by your rib cage. Press up into a cobra pose. And exhale back to downward dog. Go ahead and bring your right leg through for pigeon. So in pigeon, you could have the right knee bent quite a bit. You can also take a block or a blanket and slide it under your hip for support. If it feels better to take the right shin parallel to your mat, you can do that as well. And then walk yourself forwards. And also, I often remind all of you at home that if you're feeling something and you're into it, you can hit pause. It's so nice to be able to practice at home and, and just linger in the pose for a little longer than what we're teaching here on the video. So see if you can start to slow down your breath. And notice how allowing your breath to be thorough now, as opposed to when we started the practice, is perhaps a little different. The perspective has shifted, potentially. And then we'll go ahead and press ourselves up. Tuck the back toes. Lift the left knee up and we'll press back to down dog. Lift the right leg, open the right hip. If you'd like, you could flip out into a back bend and let the weight of your right foot carry you. Lift the heart, shoulders away from the ears in this one too. Beautiful, and then back to downward dog pose. And bring the left leg through for pigeon. 
set it up, prop yourself up. And then you drop in. Just begin to observe the experience. Observe your breath, your body, the sensations that you feel. Observe your thoughts as they come up. And then just as easily as you can observe them, let them go. Go ahead and press yourselves up and tuck the back toes and press back to that down dog, lift the left leg, open the left hip, bend the left knee, maybe you flip out into the back bend. Keep the right leg straight here, push up out of the right shoulder, let your head go. Back to downward dog. Let's just take one more vinyasa for good measure. Inhale to plank. Exhale, lower. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward dog. Good. And then go ahead and set your knees down on your mat. Cross your ankles behind you. And come to sit with your legs straight in front of you. And we'll take one forward fold. Reach the arms up. And then fold forwards and either grab onto your feet or you can use a strap or a towel or a belt or something at home for leverage if you can't reach your feet. And you get the extension of your spine. So every forward bend has a little back bending element to it, especially in the upper back. So it's natural to round a little bit. See if you can just draw the arms back into the shoulder sockets and get a little more length as opposed to rounding too much. Go ahead and come on up and come on to your back. And hug your right knee into your chest when you get to the floor, left leg straight. And we'll take a twist, right arm to the floor next to you, right knee to the left side of your mat. And especially on busy days where I, I feel like I've got a full day ahead of me or I've maybe had a very full day, sometimes it feels more challenging for me to relax. And that's when we really need to relax. On the days where we're already relaxed, of course we can relax more and that's good. Come back to center, please. And switch sides. But the days that we don't have time to relax, whatever that means, those are the days that we need it the most. So bring yourself truly to this moment Everything that's ever happened is history and everything that to that's to come is basically, it doesn't exist yet. If you have in your mind what's happening for today, that's cool, but it's still a fantasy until it's happening. So 
Really ground yourself in the moment. It is how it is right now. It's not how other people say it should be or want it to be or how you say it should be or want it to be. It is how it is. Come back to center. Hug your knees into your chest, apana asana. This is a yoga pose for sure. Be gentle, but firm enough to get a little stretch along the abdominal area and the hip flexors, a little psoas action, a little low back. And release your arms and your legs to the floor. And let's come in for a quick shavasana. And it can be a long shavasana if you want it to be. You are welcome to rest for as long as you like. So when you're ready, go ahead and stretch your arms and your legs. And bring your knees into your chest. Let's go ahead and roll to our side, right side. And press yourself up to sit. When you come to sit, close your eyes. And just take a moment to notice how you feel. This is how it feels to be you right now. Bring your palms together in front of your heart. And lift your heart and bow to your inner teacher. Namaste.